Hey guys, in this video I just want to quickly show you how you can go back to stock Android 2.3.4 um, If you are, you know, playing around with rooting and stuff like that I've been doing that for the last couple of days on my Samsung Galaxy S2 And I think I messed up a little bit here by not taking a backup on my Android 2.3.4 um, So I'm just going to go ahead and go back to stock Android uh, using this Odin uh, Flash tool um, So you know, let's go ahead and begin. First of all, this uh, will kind of like work for both Europe and Asian versions uh, of the Samsung Galaxy S2. Um, so, uh, I have will provide the link in the description where you can go ahead and download Android 2.3.4 and then basically we are just going to go ahead and uh, restart my device here uh, into download mode. Um, so I'm just going to close it here. I'm running this uh, Android 2.0 or 4.0.1 and the build kind of sucked so I want to go back and I think I have to restart just because I didn't take a backup and that did kind of suck. That's kind of like a noob. Um, so uh, to go into download mode you just have to hold the lock button, your home button and then the volume down button on this Samsung Galaxy S2. So I'm just gonna do that. And we may need to unplug it. I don't think so, but. Okay, uh, volume up to continue. Um, so as we could see, we have it turned on right now. In our Odin, Odin, Odin Flash tool in the background, we can clearly see that you know it has recognized that we have something connected. Um, so that's kind of awesome. You will see these kinds of notifications called added, removed, removed. is something that you will see you know when you remove your device or when it will you know be disconnected. So uh, download link will basically uh, provide you with a RAR file from um, a website that is basically being called uh, let's see here what is it being called samfirmware.com um, so the password uh, on this raw file will be samfirmware.com um, because when you will unroar it you will get you know you need a password blah 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 so this is a zip file um, and uh, you know when, when you're trying to um, up, uh, unpack it, you know, on our samfirmware.com uh, with a dot. Uh, you will see basically, or you will basically find three different kinds of raw files uh, that we're going to use. You also will have Odin here if you uh, didn't already have it. Um, so, what we're going to do right now is go to our Odin Flash tool. Um, and you won't only want to have auto reboot and F reset time uh, tick, not to repetition or flash lock or phone EFS clear or phone bootloader time. And um, now uh, you basically see what kind of raw file you will use for these different things. Um, so uh, the PDA is basically just going to be uh, the PDA one here uh, on the side. Uh, the PDA have the PDA name, uh, the RAR file, and then the phone basically have the phone name and the, the CSC have the CSC in the RAR file. So I'm just gonna you know quickly go to my Odin Flash tool here, and I'm I'm gonna do that uh, basically uh, PDA. Uh, I'm gonna go to my desktop and let's see. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, so. What? Wait a sec. Wait a sec. So they have kind of like okay CSC. There we go. They will have the CSC at least uh, because that one had that in the name. So let's just start off with that one, the PDA one. Okay, this is kind of interesting. Didn't have the PDA in the name. Maybe it's the modem. Okay, I don't want to guess here. I don't want to guess here, so I think I'm just going to quickly look that up. So, one second, guys. Okay, guys, so I'm back. So, I think I now know. Um, so, the PDA is probably going 
um, to be this large file here, uh, this uh, code file here, uh, and the modem, it must be, you know, the phone, because, you know, modem. Um, so I'm just going to go with code uh, on that one, and then uh, on the phone, I'm just going to go ahead and pick the modem, uh, and then on the PIT, uh, seems like you also have to pick that one, and you know that's kind of you know simple because it has the extension PIT. Um, so yeah, that is kind of nice. Uh, and also, let's go ahead and have one final look here. Um, one, 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 one final look. Uh, let's just go ahead and go over here. And uh, let's see. Let's 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 see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So let's begin. Uh, and also, you can see that they have a repartition here right now. Uh, I suppose we should remove that. And you know, on the repartition thingy over here, uh, they had that ticked one. Um, actually, I have no idea. But uh, let's just rock and roll. Let's just try this out. Hopefully it will work okay so we are in download mode I'm just gonna go ahead and click on start <laughs> oh my god it's gonna be scary that's gonna be very scary so let's go so it's basically doing a lot of things in the background um, so yeah hopefully I won't fail this is scary <laughs> oh my god I'm killing my device. Uh, hopefully not. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to kill it. Uh, can also see a progress bar uh, in the background. If you like those thingies, and it's saying N A N D, right? Start. Mhm. Mm it's kind of scary. I don't want to break it or anything, but you know it's good to experiment with your devices. You know you may learn something, uh, you may fail sometimes, but you know you just gotta get back up there. You know you don't want to be locked down. Okay, if you have an iOS device, maybe not all of you because many of you are jailbreak. But I mean, still, if you you know Android, you can you know install like anything from stock. You know you just have to go into SD card, SD card. You know input any app. It doesn't have to go through the App Store, and that's kind of amazing. I think uh, by rooting your Android device and what some iOS users call jailbreaking, but it's not because you get more access. You get you know you can do like anything uh, with a root because you are the super user of your phone, and that's kind of you know insane. You can basically do anything. Yeah! I've heard of a Brazilian guy that got his, uh, you know, Samsung Galaxy S2 exploded in uh, in his pocket. So, yeah, you know, just be careful out there. But I don't think he, you know, rooted the device. And I'm not sure if he survived. Obviously he survived, but yeah. Uh, data FS, no idea what these, you know, things are doing right now. Uh, but, yeah. And that's also kind of scary. I mean, it, it's scary code. Uh, it's writing data, image, cache, image, hidden image, a lot of things. And also, you know, I can't experiment with my device or my device series because, you know, I have a, another phone, a Galaxy Note, that I'm gonna use uh, for my normal use, I think. So that's why I'm experimenting with it. Oh, cool, it did pass. Um, yeah. Okay, it's uh, booting up again, and I don't see that weird thingy down uh, at the bottom. And also, I have this new clockwork mode uh, installed, a new kind of recovery. Uh, so, yeah. It's writing code and stuff. That's kind of high tech. FPS. Samsung Galaxy S2, and I see, uh, you know, when you have, don't have that triangle down there, I think that's uh, saying that, okay, it's good to go, you have the stock one, okay, there we go, we have it up and running, and it seems like I didn't fail, remember, you don't want to have that repartition, I think.
Okay. Scary waiting. We have to wait. And I know there's uh, newer versions of Android 2.3 uh, out, but I don't really care because I'm not going to use the stock one that much. Uh, and uh, yeah. So we have that, you know, animation. Could take longer because it's the first boot up. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. I'm not gonna do those things right now, I'm just gonna skip. Because I don't wanna play around with these things right now. Next. Oh my god, should I pick the automated? Okay, whatever. Um, so let's see here if it's working properly. Oh yeah, there we go. So basically what I'm going to do right now is, first of all, I don't think I'm having root access right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and give myself root access again. Then I'm going to, you know, download ROM manager, I think it's been called. I'm going to back it up, you know, after I've been rooting it. I'm going to back up everything so I could, you know, restore in uh, my new recovery uh, to this version. But that's kind of awesome. That's how you uh, get back to Android 2.3.4. And it's fun to play around with these devices. I mean, F yes. Here we effing go. It's fun. And uh, I'm running TouchWiz and I don't like that. So, awesome guys. See you.